So here we are back with the low CLMT. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update, right? I'm going to go into the build. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit about what I chose to go with it. Uh, first, let's go with the body. Body I went with was the AJ Concepts 2010 Ford Drafter body. I'm going to go like a darker blue with it, all right? It's, it's a little bit off from what the Bigfoot color is, but just a little bit darker. I, I feel like it's gonna look good. I'm gonna back it up with some black on the inside so you can't see it um, while I'm rolling. Um, I even bought a little bit of testers paint dark. I wanna do the jacket and the helmet on the, the figure that's in there. So I'll do that, just add a little bit of looks because I'm not gonna tint the, I might tint the windows, I'm not sure yet, but I still wanna do a little bit of uh, added details to the to the, to the the character. Um, okay, so this is the body, the paint. And I'll go over a few steps, I'll put some pictures on it on how, it, how I do the process. It's probably just gonna be all blue. I might do tint on the window, I do have some window tint, I know how to do it, so I'll probably go that route on it, but I don't know yet, we'll see. Um, I am going to keep the cage, so we'll have to mount everything and then see how it goes. Um, I'm going to work on that today. As far as electronics go, um, matter of fact, my, my, I have a spare Spectrum ABC SR6100 AT here. Um, I'm going to use this on it. This was supposed to be for my um, second uh, Mojave project, but... I'm going to use it on that for now. I don't think it's going to need any ABC, so I'll probably get a receiver for it later and use that on my uh, speed run and fraction would probably be my next on-road project. But as far as the electronics go, I got an S652 Spectrum um, receiver. I just wanted to be able to use the factory provided um, servo saver, so I went this route. It's supposed to have a little bit more torque, then the uh, factory one that comes on, the factory one on here, I think it's a 15 gram. This is about 17 gram. Still, I don't think it's going to be enough for these big old tires, and I will be upgrading, but this is what I'm going to use for now. Um, the other thing I got for it is a Sperma 150 amp uh, ESC from what you get in the newer Arma infractions and uh, Mojave's and, and the uh, Notorious and all those cars. The Outcast, it's 150 amp ESC. Um, I just figured, you know what, let's go this route. I don't, I don't ever plan on running it on 6S, but if I want to go 4S, um, then I have I have the option, especially considering the motor that I that I chose. I didn't really choose this motor. I was playing around one day on eBay, and uh, one a couple of the guys I follow on eBay, um, they always post used stuff up, and I saw this motor, and it was a good deal. It was like, I don't know, it was going for like 10 bucks, so I set my maximum bid of like $13 or whatever. Um, I didn't think I was gonna win it, but I was like, you know what, 13 bucks for $7 shipping, $20 for a 2000 KV Reedy 1515 SL, 2000 KV, I'll do it. So it's been sitting in a box for like a year, year and a half. I often like mess around with eBay and stuff, and if I see things I like that seem like good deals, I'll throw a bid on them. Most of the time I lose, but every now and again I win. But I didn't know what to throw it in, being 2000 KV, but I said, you know what? This is perfect because it's not even as long as the 2200s. Um, it's, I mean, it's close enough, but it's just a little bit shorter. I've read a little bit on it. I heard it's a 4S capable, but it's 2000 KV, so I'm sure I could bump it up to 6S, not for a long period of time, but I could. Um, but for what I'm planning on doing with this truck, which is just really using it for its intended purpose of doing some jumps, um, not hardcore bashing, but I do want to take it to a BMX track that I saw here in town. Um, so that's probably where I'll do my my first my first big run that I'll post up. But yeah, I had this laying around, so I was gonna I was gonna take I was gonna cannibalize another one of my cars and then just go with a different setup on that on one of my uh, my rust by uh, my tracks a slash. It's got twenty six hundred kV twenty six fifty with a castle uh, sidewinder eighth system in it. And I was going to go that route and then just buy that one at 2400 KV short cross truck setup. But then, you know, I found this for a really good deal online on uh, Denny's RC. I, I picked it up for fairly cheap. And so I was able to get this. I already had this. Um, and then I was able to get the servo from them for fairly cheap. So at a budget, I'm building this whole truck. Um, 
Um, it should be pretty fun. I had this laying around. Like I said, I hadn't finished that um, Mojave build. Um, but why not? And I, I got plenty of Spectrum remotes. I got a DX6R. I got a DX5. I got a DX4. So we'll go that route. But anyways, this is basically what I'm going to use on it. Um, I'll be posted after this. You'll see part of the video where I put some of the stuff together. Not really going to do a full build on it because I don't think I need to. A lot of people have done it. Um, but as I go through and I finish something, I'll make a little video and, and, and show how it's looking or my ideas behind it. Okay. So anyways, the LMT project. All right. How's your hobby life? Out. All right, so how did the build go? Build go went went pretty good. I was able to fit the um, Firma 150 in the stock location. That bolt is a little bit canted in there, but it did fit. Um, I got my switch right here. Motor went in perfectly, as you can see. It's it's almost flush there with the uh, metal, but it's not. It sticks out a little bit, but I mean, you can, th th this car could take a bigger motor. I put this 2000 kV in this, as, as you'll see in the in the video, in the run video, it's got plenty of power. I've been running it on 4S. I used the 14.2 uh, stock pinion that came with it. Um, everything was, I can ask for more. The car just performs excellent. Uh, other than that, as you see in the pictures, I, I did paint like the wheels. Now they are scratched up. Body took a beating today. And you'll see in the video, um, I forgot to get these back clips put back on. And without them, the the body just flexes way too much in the back and so it did crack it right here not a big deal i'm gonna glue these back together uh, i'm gonna take part the body and i'm gonna go through it and just reinforce it bought some stuff today at a store um if you guys want i'll put a picture of how i reinforce these bodies this right here um i used the stock one um and i've heard a lot of complaints about them and uh, after running it about three or four times I noticed that uh, this little screw here comes loose, this little area, um, and it makes your steering wheel wobbly. Um, and I thought for sure that the servo server had already went, or the servo. I came back around and I was messing, fidgeting with it, and uh, and it just tightened right back up. So that's a plus. Just just keep that FYI. Um, if you t if it gets loose on you after like one or two runs, it might just be this. And again, it could just be that it broke but i mean my case was that this got loose this this it's kind of you can see it here but you can twist this and tighten it up um so yeah so other than that uh i had to turn down the avc i put that that receiver in it and i knew i wasn't gonna need the avc but one thing that i noticed about when you put the avc on these trucks um you got to turn it way down the assistance and then i was also noticing that it was uh it, it just was a little bit too much. And when I was hitting jumps, I was trying to correct. So I took that all the way down. So what I'm going to do with that now is I'm going to order a new one for this truck. Okay. Um, and then I'll use that on, on an infraction. I, I, my next RC car build is going to be the uh, Mega, the infraction Mega. Even though I have another one-seventh infraction I got to finish. But they, they're on sale right now on Tower Hobbies. So that's going to be my next build. <laughs> uh but other than that, everything fit well. Um, I left these two on there. I don't think I'll ever use them. But I'm just not going to take them apart because it is a smart ESE. So, you know, if I ever need it, I have it. You know, if I ever want to use something else, I got it, you know. Um, and then I'll post pictures of the of the body on it um, uh, <laughs> before the uh, infinite rollovers that it's going to have. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to uh, reinforce that body. That would be my main run body. 
But other than that, hey, this 2000 KV, I didn't know how it was going to do. I didn't get to take a video of it, but I will uh, just to show you guys what it does. On 4S, 14 tooth, uh, the stock uh, slipper clutch that it's got, you know, um, it performed fantastic. I got to say, I, I hit 33, I think, miles an hour, um, which to me, it's more than enough on this truck. I don't, I don't need anything else. I don't, I don't really want anything else. I could go 6S and it probably hit about 50 miles an hour, you know, but, but why? Um, 33 miles an hour on this is more than enough. So yeah, so it's staying that way. I am not upgrading. I'm not doing anything else to it. It's staying uh, with the 4S. I might go to the 16 tooth pinion because maybe it'll give me about 37, maybe 38 miles an hour, give or take. I might be over, 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 uh, uh, over exceeding on my expectations. But I mean, if it gives me something like that, I'm good to go. Anyways. Stay tuned. I'm going to put up the video of the bashing. I'm actually running with my sons right there. Um, this video is after the bash. I just cleaned them. Simple green water. I'll do a quick little video. Um, just if you're going to wash them with water, my suggestion is make sure you have an air compressor or, you know, a real powered uh, blower and, and, and make sure you get in the nicks and crannies. So after I was done, I get in real good on the ESC. All right, and I don't ever give direct water pressure to it. I kind of just go around or whatever. And then I popped open the boxes. It's not a waterproof box like a lot of the other vehicles are. And I went ahead and I blew that out. And then I'm going to open these up. You know, I don't think it got any water in. And even if it did, it's minute. But I'm going to open this up and just, just double check it. Um, but the rest of it, I just hit it with air. I have a huge air compressor. So I go to town on that. But um, anyways, those are my thoughts on the LMT. It is a fantastic truck. It is going to become my favorite truck really quick. It's, if it's not there already, it's one of them. Um, anyways, OJ Hobby Life and the um, Low CLMT out. Oh yeah, the Outcast 4S and the Low CLMT. It's gonna be on 4S. I'll explain the whole setup here soon. Really 
fun, but... Oh, king of the mountain! Oh! <laughs> Nice, Avery. Nice. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Did you saw that? Yeah, I saw that. That was cool, bro. This is brother. You're your brother going nuts over there. <laughs> This is actually a villain entry. Can you get to my car? Alright, so hey, this is the Losi LMT. It's on a 2000 kV um, motor. It's also got a um, 150 amp Perma ESC. Showed all that stuff earlier, but she is performing amazing out here. I don't think it needs more power. I had to put her on force because only a 2000 kV. And also, not but, as amazing as my truck. Comment down below which one's better. <laughs> well, I'll catch right now is on 3S. Yeah, but I also have only 70%, 70 75% um, power. Yeah, well, you don't need more than that out here. Turning it up out here. All right, gonna hit the big jump. Let's go, right there, Amy. Woo! Oh, oh, All right, here we go. Here's my villain. Oh, you're villain. All right, next jump. Like All right, here we go. Come down below, which one's better? My jump? Of course. Okay, and then his dirty jump. Oh boy, that was a bad one. Get it ready. Woo! Best spot yet? Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Hey, let's walk this way so we can maybe climb over here. Evil person entrance. Careful, Bobby, you're gonna spit rocks on us. I got it. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be always looking at where you're at, okay? I got it. I got it on video too. Oh. I got it. Oh, no. Tumble wombo. Let me try to jump over you. He's gonna try 
try to be. Oh, Aiden, let's hit this jump now that Mimi's over here. We can hit this big one right here, Aiden. Oh, yeah, hold up. Are right, you ready, Rain? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, There's oh, one oh. car. Ah. Wait. Right, I, can, I can still win. Alright, Aiden, do it. Do it, Aiden. Oh! oh I missed a crazy jump. I missed a complete jump. And that's why you gotta control your speed, Dad. Oh. Dad, I don't wanna This angle. One car.
Oh snap, here's the aftermath. Hey, the, the car fared up well, they didn't really break. They are dirty, they are gonna need a lot of cleaning. Um, there's Aiden, so he said a lot. And then my body took a beating, so I'll talk about this later after I wash. I forgot to put the back clips on, and by forgetting to put the back clips on, she was very loose. But it's all right, it's a bashing body anyway, so. Remember, comment down Anyways. below which one's better. All right, which one performed better, all right. Oh, okay, pick me. LG Hobby Life. All right, all so right. I got some simple green. We're gonna clean these bad boys up. And then I'll scuff down the wheels and touch them up. Same thing for my boys. We'll clean it up real good right now. There you have it. All right, guys. After a good wash, I use Simple Green. I buy the big gallon at uh, AutoZone, and that's what we use to clean. Um, the cars come out great. I'll show you guys how the uh, Arma Outcast already came out for my boy. But I spray them down, and then what you hear in the background is actually my compressor. My compressor, I turn it on, and I dry every inch of that car until it's completely dry. So that's what I'm doing right now. Anyways, I'll do a hobby like out.